Hello, remnants, and welcome to our Chicago Regional Holy Nation Summit School Worship. Does anybody know what's going to happen in two weeks? Benji, that's right, VBS. We have VBS coming up in two weeks. So in celebration, let's sing our first song, The People of the Covenant. That's our main theme song for this year's VBS. So let's learn this song all together. I think while looking at you, looking at Jesus, holding on to the covenant, holding on to my heart, speaking while we are praying, talking to Jesus, living with the mighty Lord, Day by every day, people of faith to be misled by many others, people of the covenant, don't shake in the field, decisions by faith alone, and you must resolve. Of the covenant, who gives thanks to him? Let's sing it from the top. I think, I think while looking at you, looking at Jesus, holding on to the covenant, holding on to my heart. Speaking while we are praying, talking to Jesus, living with the mighty Lord day by every day. People of faith, don't be misled by many others, people of the Decisions I faith alone, and you must resolve, people of the covenant, who give thanks to him. Let's sing it from the top, I think. I think while looking at you, looking at Jesus, holding on to the covenant, Holding on to my heart, speaking while we are praying, talking to Jesus, living with the mighty Lord day by every day. People of faith, don't be misled by many of the covenant don't shake in the field decisions by faith alone and you must resolve people of the covenant who can things to And we'll sing our next VBS praise. It's called The Foundation of Faith. So as we sing this next praise all together, let's learn it with a happy heart. The Foundation of Faith. My faith in the God, absolute sovereignty doesn't shake. My Lord God who plans and fulfills everything in the world. He's almighty the king. Oh, my faith it is of all his story. Christ Jesus, the main figure, the only way. 
My Lord in me who saves me with unending love and grace. Jesus, you are with me. Holy Spirit dwelling in me, guiding me, walking in my life every day. Summit I'll be by raising me, proving the living Lord is here, there everywhere, forever. My faith, my faith is the word of God. It is in the Holy Bible. I believe that it is a promise that has the right to be fulfilled for me. Oh, my faith it is. I am the temple of God, the Holy Spirit dwells in me. Believers are the temple of God and dwell by the Holy Spirit. Place where I am is a mission. Feel with God's plan of salvation, you and me. Feel to enjoy Emmanuel, given by you all to the covenant. Life and death, life and death of our lives are in the loving hands of awesome Lord. Heaven and earth created by him, govern all things according to providence inside his grand plan. Oh, my faith it is living only once, making life worthwhile in this limited life. Only eternal, the hope of heaven in my life beyond receive the evangelist reward. May I die with my life. Only Jesus, you must remain in me. May I live my life within your grace, Lord. Thanksgiving with now I live every day. My foundation of faith given by the Lord has given me Jesus is the Christ. Has given, has given me Jesus is the Christ. Amen. We'll continue to sing our VBS praises next week. Um, let's sing our next praise all together, Summit Time. God has called you and me to be in this covenant journey. He will save all the nations. That's our final destination for the world to be healed. There is only one true answer. It's the kingdom of God, Jesus is a Christ, his power alone. So no matter what happens to you, do not let it shake or affect you. You just focus on God who's with you and have summit time. You have God's answer covenant. You're on this journey. And we're all together. We have oneness. We enjoy Emmanuel. Summit time. God has called you. God has called you and me to be in this covenant journey. He will save all the nations. That's our final destination for the world to be healed. There is only one true answer. It's the kingdom of God. Jesus is the Christ, his power alone. So no matter what happens to you, do not let it shake or affect you. 
you just focus on God who's with you in dim summit time. You have, you have got to sell a cup and you're on this journey and we're on our way to stand before kings as the witnesses of Christ summit time let's sing it from the top God has called you and me to be in this covenant journey he will save all the nations and that's our final destination for the world to be healed there is only one true answer it's a kingdom of god jesus is a christ his power alone so no matter what happens to you do not let it shake or affect you you just focus on God who's with you and if summit time you have got to sell a covenant and you're on this journey and we're all together we have oneness we enjoy Emmanuel so no matter so no matter to you do not let it shake or affect you you just focus on God who's with you and if summit time you have God's absolute covenant you're on this journey and we're on our way to stand before kings as the witnesses of Christ summit time. Amen. Let's confess our last praise all together when we sing praises to God. When we sing praises to God, Satan will run far away. God will give us great power every time we pray. When we sing praises, when we sing praises to God, Satan will run far away. And God will give us great power every time we pray jesus died jesus died for my sins and he rose up again and when i tell others about him he will guide me and he will answer me jesus is my loving lord when we see when we sing praises to God, Satan will run far away. God will give us great power every time we pray. Jesus died. Jesus died for my sins and he rose up again. And when I tell others about about him he will guide me and he will answer me jesus is my loving lord when we sing praises to god satan will run far away and god will give us great power every time we pray amen let's all fold our hands close our eyes and we'll have a quick prayer before we begin let's pray dear heavenly father we thank you for gathering all of us to this place of worship may we truly prepare our hearts and our minds to focus only on the word of god in the name of jesus christ we pray amen 
Can everyone please take out your prayer books and your Apostles' Creed, please? Okay, does everyone have our prayer books? Benji has his prayer book. Shireen has her prayer book. Adin has her prayer book. And I hope everyone online has yours open. So let's say the Apostles' Creed all together in one voice. Ready? Three, two, one. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Let's all get ready to hear today's word. You all have your prayer books? You all have God, three, two, one. Without spot or blame, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, may we pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness, and fight the good fight of faith. And confess that God, you're the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal, and who lives in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen or can see, and to you be the honor and eternal dominion. Amen. Her for vengeance mission, three, two, one. May I not bow to the threats of the world, but grant me to speak your word with great boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal, perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray, but You know how Paul, Paul went back into the city to get remnant Timothy? I feel like Paul right now. Few remnants, for the sake of you, few remnants. I'm up here. Jesus' life, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing, Jesus' witness. Let's raise a banner for the nations of Jesus' life, power, healing, witness, covenant, word and prayer, restoration through Christ, platform, pass through the gates, prepare the way, build up the highway, remove the stones, raise a banner. Watchtower, God posted us as watchmen on the walls, never silent day or night. No rest. Give God no rest. Antenna, communicate with God as his holy people, redeemed of the Lord, sought after, city no longer deserted. Blessing of 24, past, present, the future. I 24, church 24, and field 24. Today's message, the works of God's kingdom. The works of God's kingdom. Move up, Adini. I'm not going to bite you. Can I move on? Mr. French Fry? Okay. Acts 23.11. Benji kept asking us if we wanted french fries. Maybe he poisoned them. Maybe it was a prank. Maybe they were rotten. What is this, staring contest? Ah, she's too good. All right, verse 11, it says, The following night the Lord stood near Paul and said, Take courage, as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Is this an objective? Life staking challenge for the sake of the work of God's kingdom. Sound familiar? You don't know how to write? Do 
Did you learn your alphabets yet? Do you know how to write? No, English? Spanish? All done, Michael? All done, Banshiki? Just kidding. All right, let's talk about some remnants who staked their lives. This guy looks familiar. What's his name? Joseph. What's his name? Moses. What's his name? Oh, that's a tough one. Job? Joe? You already said Joseph. What's his name? Joshua. Joshua. Then, what's his name? It's a name of one of our remnants. You want to take a guess? Caleb! What's his name? This is one of our another remnants. Not me, no. Sam, Samuel. What's his name? Another one of our missing remnants. David. What's his name? Come on, I used him a lot. Not sharing. Elijah. Then what's his name? What's the name of this baldy? Elisha. Tough crowd. What's his name? Isaiah. Isaiah staked his life. What's his name? I'll give you a hint. Um, Harry Legs. Daniel, Daniel. What's uh, their names? Any Mini Mo? Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. What's this precious remnant's name? I'll give you a hint. Tear Ginster's precious darling, Esther. What's his name? That's a tough one. Stefan. Stefan. Stefan staked his life. Oh, what's his name? We've been learning about this guy. Paulito. Another one of our missing remnants. All right. Joseph staked his life and he went to Egypt because of the dream of world evangelization that God gave him, right? Staked his life. He went to Egypt not as a prince? On vacation? No, as a slave. He was sold as a slave to Egypt. He even went to prison while he was in Egypt. Staked his life. Why? Because he was holding on to God's promise of world evangelization. Capiche? Capuche. What about Moses? Moses staked his life and he went before the Pharaoh. That's a risk. That's, a, that's a risky, huh? Because he ran away from Egypt. Because what? Do you know why he ran away from Egypt? Remember, he killed one of the soldiers and buried, them, buried him in the sand. Samuel, he staked his life, right? When the Philistine army was going to attack, he gathered everybody in Mizpah, in the Mizpah movement. David staked his life, and he went to fight Goliath. But he was no match, right? He went as a king, as a future king. And Elijah, he staked his life. On the, on the battle of Mount Carmel, Carmel, against 850 false prophets. Elisha staked his life. Remember the Aramean army surrounded the city during the night, and, the, and his servant was freaking out? But no problem. Angels, horses, of, horses and chariots of fire was surrounding Elisha. Joshua staked his life, right, when he went to go 
conquer the city of Jericho. And also the, the Jordan River. Caleb staked his life when he was really old, like 85, against the Anak Hill Country. Isaiah staked his life, right? His own people didn't listen to him. The Israelites, right? God told Isaiah, go speak to, to my people. Give them a heads up. And then nobody listened to Isaiah, right? Daniel staked his life, still prayed. Was it three times a day? He was thrown into the lion's den, staked his life. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they staked their life and they didn't bow down to the golden statue of King Nebuchadnezzar, staking their lives. Esther staked her life, right? And she approached the king, even though, even though she's not supposed to without permission. Staking her life. If I perish, I perish. Stephen staked his life. He was persecuted. He was stoned to death. And same thing with Paul. Paul staked his life and he went to prison. How, why were these remnants able to do such a thing? Because they knew the works of God's kingdom. Second point, works of God's kingdom. Now, there are some things that take place when we pray. There's a song, right? When we pray. When we hold on to God's word and pray. When we pray. When we pray. When we pray. Wasn't this VBS song from last year? When I pray to the Lord, I see him work. Father, Holy Spirit, Son, three in one. What is this talking about? Father, Holy Spirit, Son. There's a word for this. What is this word? Trinity. 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 All right. God the Father. What does God the Father give us? The word. So we got to hold on to this word, right? Next it says, Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit do? Indwelling of the Holy Spirit. That means the Holy Spirit is inside of us. Guidance of the Holy Spirit. He guides us. Just like he guided Paul. Was it Paul? Peter? Paul? Working of the Holy Spirit. Right? He teaches and reminds us of God's word. Yeah, I'm filling of the Holy Spirit, spiritual strength. And God the Son, what did he do? He, just, he took care of the three curses, Satan, disasters, hell, separation, sin, and curse. Satan as a prophet, priest, king. What did Jesus do as a true prophet? Anybody know? True prophet. What did Jesus do as a true prophet? Come on, you guys do the way of salvation all the time during activity time. You even wrote it on the whiteboard. The way to meet God. The way, the truth, and the life. The way to meet God. Priest. What did Jesus do as a true priest? He took, he took care of original sin, right? Sin and curses. It says, free from the law of sin and death. True king, what did, Satan, what did Jesus do as a true king? Oh, dear. He destroyed the devil's work, right? Prophet, priest, king, PPK. Next, when, when I pray to the Lord, Satan runs away. Darkness runs away whenever I pray. When we pray, Satan runs away. Hmm. Because we're praying in the name of Jesus. Satan doesn't like that name. Darkness runs away, the forces of darkness unseen to our eyes. Demons, evil spirits, they all run away. 
was like this. He shined the light. <laughs> and this is when we pray. These are the mysteries of God's kingdom. Man, we should have sang this song today. When Jesus called his disciples, he gave them authority to drive out demons, break down forces of darkness. This is what we got to do in the field all the time. Jesus gave authority to drive out demons. Next, what else happens when we pray? When we pray to the Lord, we know they work. Armies of the angels move ahead of us. Right? Messenger angels, guardian angels, soldier angels, armies of angels, angels that bring our prayers up to God. Unseen to rise, God mobilizes his angels, right? Angels are ministering spirits sent to serve those who are children of God and bring up our prayers up to God. When we pray to the Lord in Jesus' name, God will work, his kingdom comes, and his will be done. Right? We pray in Jesus' name, right? Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. God's kingdom comes. Thy will be done on earth. Yeah. What's God's? God's kingdom is nine blessings, right? The nine blessings of the throne. God's will. What, does, what is God's will? What does he want? This is something that the remnants knew. That's why they staked their lives. What does God want? Should I give you a hint? World... <laughs> World evangelization, right? And, or evangelism and missions. W E E M, W E E M. And let's review what we learned on Sunday. Now, Paul, Paul was somebody who already conquered, right? He knew what God got wanted, and he knew the works of, of God's kingdom. Right? And he said, I must go see Rome also. Now, he was in Jerusalem, and then oh, some Jewish people saw him in Jerusalem. They, they stirred up the crowd saying, fellow Israelites, this man has defiled this holy place. He's against our own people and the law. So they gathered, to, they gathered and they beat him up. Remember, they're not allowed to do this to Roman citizens. Now, some soldiers came, found out that he was a Roman citizen, and, but the rest of the crowd, his own people, was like, get rid of him. Now, Paul just asked the soldiers, okay, let me just talk to them. Let me talk to them. And then he spoke in Aramaic, Aramaic, which is, the Jewish native language. And then when they heard him speaking in Aramaic, everybody, shh, and they listened to him. He's like, oh, they're like, wow, he's one of us. And then Paul explains, he's Jewish, born in Tarsus, city in Cilicia, learned under Gamaliel, learned everything about the law. I did what, what God wanted which the Jewish people think was capturing Christians. He persecuted them, and then he talked about all that he did. Remember, Paul, he persecuted Christians, right? He captured them, put them in jail. Men, women, old, young, in prison. And then he gives his testimony, his story, how he met Jesus on the road to Damascus. And then how he met Ananias. He was blinded for three days and nights. He didn't eat or drink. And I'm sure he reflected on everything that he learned. How God called Ananias, and he met Ananias. 
And then he wasn't blind anymore, became a child of God. And how he was called as a witness of Jesus. And then he talked about, I guess he had a, a trance, kind of like Peter. I guess the angel said, leave Jerusalem. They're not going to listen to you. But they didn't listen, right? They said, get, the, get rid of them. So they were about to flog him, flog him. But Paul mentioned, oh, by law, I'm a Roman citizen. You can't, you can't even touch me. And they were surprised. What? Because he was a natural born citizen. He didn't pay for it. He was born a Roman citizen. And then we talked about that last week. So, per, by law, he was put on trial in the court before the Sanhedrin, which is a Pharisee, Sadducees, Jewish people. And then the judge is the, is the high priest. Now, this is where they decide whether someone could die or live. Now, Paul says, I fulfilled my duty in front of God. But then the high priest is like, smack him in the mouth. Whoosh. Now, he wasn't supposed to do that. And Paul's like, you're a high priest. You're saying I broke the law. You just broke the law. And you just had somebody hit my mouth. That's breaking the law. And then the people in the crowd, the Sanhedrin, is like, you dare talk to the high priest like that? Paul's like, oh, I didn't know he was a high priest because I'm a Pharisee. I know the law. And then Paul starts a fight, right? Because Paul's like, I'm, I'm on trial because I believe in the resurrection. Now, Pharisees, they believe in resurrection. Sadducees, they don't. They're, still, they're both Jewish people, but now they're fighting. And Paul started, Paul started a fight in the court. Anyways, and then it, it started becoming violent. So the soldiers had to protect Paul. And brought him into, into the barracks. And not too long after that, the Lord appeared before him and said, you must, just like you testified about me here, you, you must do so in Rome. Now, after all that bickering and fighting, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they decide to ambush Paul try to kill him. But Paul's sister's son, or I guess his nephew, heard about this and then went to go warn Paul. And then, and then the captain called for 200 soldiers, 70 cavalry, 200 light infantry, so a huge army to protect Paul. And then the captain wrote a letter. Okay, now he's on trial. Right? This is in Caesarea. Caesarea. He was he was led safely by the army. Now this trial is in Caesarea. High priest. Somehow he made his way up there. And then He's trying to persuade. But then Paul's like, I've done nothing wrong. I'm just talking about Jesus being the way, the truth, and life. I'm, I'm on trial because of the resurrection of Christ. He's like, I will decide your fate. And he was there waiting. Or actually, he was protected for two years. Now, two years passed. Felix was succeeded by Festus. Festus went to Jerusalem. Now, they plotted another ambush. Bring Paul here to Jerusalem. Let's have trial in Jerusalem. But nope. They had an ambush prepared. But Festus is like, no, we'll have trial in Caesarea. If you want to join me over there, then feel free. So, back in Caesarea... Festus wanted to do the Jews a favor, and he asked, at least he asked Paul, 
her, are you fine with having a trial in Jerusalem? But Paul knew, nope, it didn't work out well over there. You know what? I did nothing wrong. I'm not guilty. I appealed to Caesar. And Festus is like, all right, you've appealed to Caesar. You will go to Rome. And that story will cover on Sunday. So we need to take courage, just like Paul. We might face problems, conflicts, and crises, like how Paul was persecuted by his own people, by Rome, or it was going to be Rome. And then even in Caesarea, he was in prison, Pharisees, Sadducees, even the high priest, and then later Caesar. The law persecuted him, Rome persecuted him. He was put in prison, but you know what? Prison was captured by Paul. It didn't matter where he was. He shared the gospel even while he was in prison. So let's not get tied down by our own thoughts. Right? Stake our lives for the work of God's kingdom. All right, so hold on to God's word and pray. And then just like that song, when we pray, when we pray, Think about and enjoy what happens when we pray. Short and sweet, huh? Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing, Jesus witnesses. Platform watch our antenna. Home work. What was homework this week? You guys remember? Yeah, all you have to do is remember the phrase, I must also testify in Rome. Does that mean we have, we're gonna, we have to go all the way to Italy? No, no. The spiritual Rome of this time, right? God called us in America. Today, let us pray for Montenegro and Moldova. Christian Orthodox. Orthodox. Right, Christians. Well, uh, prayer transcends time and space. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Montenegro and Moldova so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Dear God, may you bless our precious remnants. Uh, help us to stake our lives and enjoy for the sake of the work of your kingdom. May you mobilize your angels, break down forces of darkness, and help us enjoy the blessings of the throne. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.